And now I want to show the bag organizer I use for my Ella tote. So if you haven't watched my what's in the blah blah. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. And today in this video, I'm going to share with you the pros and cons of one of my favorite bag, Tory Burch Ella Peyton tote bag. So let's get started without further ado. The first thing you notice is this handle that stands upright. It's like very convenient to just grab and go. Yay! And the logo is right in front, as you can see, and also it's stitched on the strap. And I'm just going to show the interior too. And inside too, you can see the logo everywhere this is a very lightweight fabric and as you know if you have watched my previous videos about bags i like a lightweight bag um and yeah so it has a side buttons if you want to cinch it you can do that it is uh it's on both sides and if i go to the interior as you can see, there is a magnetic clasp right here. And in the interior, you can see a big pocket right there. Very deep. Um, and also a zipper. It's written Tory Burch here. Guys, it's a very classic bag. Timeless, I would say. It will never go out of style, I'm telling you. Um that said it's um and if you want to carry this bag like without showing the logo just turn it to the other side here you go very convenient huh and also you can use this bag as a diaper bag mom bag just just for grocery shopping just for your office uh just casually you name it um I'm in love with this bag. Very roomy. As, as you can see, it's very roomy. It can hold, I think, more than never full MM can hold, I guess. So, so that's my Tory Burch Ella patent tote bag. So as you can see, it's patent in the sense that this this is very shiny and it's for leather so that's a plus point you don't have to worry about whether it will get stained or not um, and this material is easy to clean and as it's black no worries of you know any stain if at all is seen you know um, but as as I said this fabric is like recycled polyester um so it's very smooth and i think the durability is very high this is the organizer i'm using for my ella tote uh actually this the one thing in the middle is detachable there's a velcro on the sides so i just take it off and then use it and if you haven't already watched my previous video Please, uh, maybe I can leave a link down, down here, up here, uh, so that you can watch that too. So, if you are using an organizer, as you can see, you don't have to button up here on the sides and you can just carry it. Now, we can get into the cons of this bag. It doesn't have legs, guys. But, I don't see a situation where uh, we have to keep this kind of bags on the ground all the time so i would say it's a con that can be ignored um that's my thinking by the way and it's an open tote that means yeah you do have a magnetic class if you have just the essentials to carry but if you're using an organizer and you have more stuff to carry well um 
it's an open bag and if you are a person who is worried about security and stuff like that well then it may not be the bag for you and last but not the least it doesn't have uh, any sort of hook inside uh, as you do have for never full mm that's the other bag uh, other tote bag i have um you know it's not there so you cannot hang any pouch or anything like that so but that's not a big very you have one big pocket and one zipper down there so that should suffice um what else i think that's pretty much about the cons and the only other thing is if you are to carry a lot of stuff like if the bag is really really heavy then i wouldn't recommend this uh bag and if you want to walk a you know long distance or something to reach your office or something like that this is going to dig into your shoulders so it depends upon how much weight you want to carry in your bag um but it's broad enough to give that support but um but keep that in mind or otherwise it's a great bag guys it's a great bag i see it you know uh being used for years to come so i highly highly recommend this bag so let me talk about different versions of ella tote bag i'll mainly talk about the black colored ella tote bag and this comes in baby tote bag, micro tote bag, mini tote bag, and regular sizes. So regular sizes is, I think it comes in three. So one is the patent um, tote bag, Ella patent tote bag, which has this shiny stuff, uh, shiny logo. And the other one is without the shiny thing. And the third one is the printed uh, version of this uh, regular sized Ella tote bag. So let's get into it. So the first one is Ella patent tote bag, which is the one I own. And it is patent, as I told before, it's a shiny and it's the faux leather. The next one is the Ella tote bag which is not shiny um, and it's available in three different flavors or colors. Now the next one is Ella printed tote bag and it's also available in three colors. Ella mini tote bag, uh, then comes Ella baby bag, then comes Ella micro tote bag. The Ella tote is the perfect bag for all your essentials. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button down there. I make videos every week and I would love to have you as my subscriber. And if you end up liking this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below and share with your friends. You know, all this help the algorithm. All right. And... Um, I will see you all soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.